real me, I swear you gotta feel me Before they try and kill me, they gotta make some choices They running out of options, cause I've been going off And they don't know when it's still trapped Don't they trash me, it's really still the real me I swear you gotta feel me, before they try and kill me They gotta make some choices, they running out of options Cause I've been going off, and they don't know when it's still trapped Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look i keep hearing that sound i'm gonna i'm gonna drop the ad libs in here i keep hearing that so that's how i feel when i look this out so today here we have a 24 inch hd lace wig brazilian hair from doula hair that's one of my favorite companies right now i've been working with them for like a year and yeah it's been a year it's been a year and some months now and they never failed me they never let me down they never disappointed me never all right this is a 13 by 6 frontal wig. As I said, it's not full lace, but there is like a little lace in the back. If I wanted to bleach it and pluck it and put this in a ponytail, it would, you know, it would be fine. It would work out fine. This hair is very soft. The maintenance is nothing too crazy. This is why I like to stick to straight hair because all I have to do is wake up and just flat iron and, you know, keep pushing with my day. Don't get me wrong, I like curly hair, but who want to be fighting with curly hair all the time? This is why I stick to my straight hair. And this style is very different for me. Because as y'all know me by now, all I do is a middle part. Once in a blue moon, I'll do a side part. But this was just very different. I don't remember where I seen this style. But I was like, I could remake that. And I want to do it for you guys. And I did it. You know me. I'm always dropping gems. I'm showing y'all the most easiest, simplest ways to do hairstyles. You know, it's quarantine. I ain't going nowhere. But like, who want to be inside looking rusty and crusty? I know you got somebody that you FaceTime yeah you right you, you right there i know you guys wait to facetime that you want to be on the phone with looking real cute you know um don't we all but okay i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe share tell your mother tell your aunt and her friends and her aunt friends and your mother friend and everybody just tell everybody you feel me just share this video get this out there to everyone and if you want to know how i got this look today keep watching so check out their brand new packaging i definitely love this new box and in this fancy little box you're gonna get two beautiful bedazzled little clips their new little pointer baby hair brush it now has like a point on it where you could use to apply your glue and do your baby hairs after at the same time i got a nice little tan wig cap and here we have the beautiful hd lace wig man when y'all see how this melt like how i melted it you look at that the knots on it are super fine so that when i bleached it it was super easy to bleach like i literally left the bleach on for 15 minutes and i didn't even have to leave it for that long it also came with a elastic band in the back but i cut that out because i like to glue my wigs i don't really do glueless frontal wigs when i master that then i'll do it but here i'm just putting the bleach on like i told you guys make sure it's thick like pancake batter not too thick that it's going to be crumbling and falling off but like you know the right consistency i will drop the link to my previous video where i teach you guys how to properly bleach and pluck a frontal wig let's talk about how i'm bleaching hair in this couch do you know how much trouble i got in after this oh my god but anyways the the front two did come pre-plucked but you know me i'm always gonna go in and re-pluck it just to give it more of a natural effect if you like for your front tools to look full like this kudos to you but not me so here we have the 13 by 6 inch parting it goes way back like we're not doing them little four inch parts no more all right you want to be a baddie we're gonna get the baddie part the baddie part is six inches and better well i don't think you should go all the way to the back of your head but you know <laughs> a nice long part is good here's the lace you know after it's been bleached look at that flawless and that's how you know when it's um hd lace when the ends of the lace look very you know ripped up and shredded like how you've seen previously but that's how you know when it's real hd lace and it's real good hd lace so here i'm just going over you know the pre-plucked area and just thinning it out some more and this is what it looks like after i was finished 
and i just went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit more and then i proceeded to my stocking cap slash pre-melting stage because you know you gotta melt the stocking cap first and then you gotta melt the wig so y'all already know how that part goes so you could just watch So don't forget to clean it up with some 91% alcohol. You, if you have 70, that's fine as well. But I feel like the stronger, well, not even I feel, I know. The stronger and higher the alcohol level is the better and the deeper cleanse you'll get. And the longer your lace will last. So you want to go ahead and make sure you wipe off all the excess makeup and everything with the alcohol. And here now I'm just placing the wig on my head to see what else extra pieces need to be cut. You know how this part go but right here you know if you don't know how this goes you just want to place the wig on your head to see if there's any extra or access stocking cap that wants to be cut and here's what it looks like everything is in the right place for me so i'm gonna proceed with the gluing step well before i proceed to the gluing step you want to cut off the excess lace for the air tabs right there on the edge right there you want to measure out your ear go right around and cut it off because if you don't it will be very uncomfortable and it's going to be real itchy back there so you just want to make sure you go ahead and cut off that extra lace in that area and then you want to move forward with your gluing step So depending on how long you want it to last is how many layers of glue you're going to use. So I went in and did two and a half. No, I did two layers, two like, you know, really thin layers of bold hole because I didn't want this um, hair in that long because I want to do a different style. So I did two very thin layers of bold hole and I went ahead and I applied it to the cap and a little over onto my skin and you guys i also have a video step by step but i'm going to do an updated video step by step on how i properly do my stocking cap technique and apply my lace so stay tuned for that one I don't recommend blow drying the glue because I don't want it to be too dry. So I just take like, you know, anything around me, an envelope, a piece of paper, and you want to fan it until it's completely clear. As you see here, almost like I didn't put any glue. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to lay your lace. Like, let's really get into this lace though. Do you guys see that? And no, I did not put no makeup on this lace. There is absolutely no, no makeup. No, they that lace. Look, look, period. All right. So. You want to go ahead and take your comb and just begin to press the lace in lightly. Don't do too much because you don't want it to smudge and turn white on you. And then after you go ahead and cut your lace, off, your lace off in a zigzag motion, any excess lace that did not get any glue, you just want to go over those parts and reapply some glue.
so do you guys like when i talk through the videos or do you rather me only talk through the parts that you guys don't understand or like the parts you rather me explain let me know in the comments below and boom what if you didn't all right if you did not watch and put this on just now keep it a book you wouldn't even you wouldn't you wouldn't even think it wasn't mine don't even lie don't lie you could not tell me that i did not get a perm and took a hot comb and just pressed my hair back do y'all see that doula hair is going crazy 2020 i'm telling y'all cop this lace the information will of course be in my description box below like this looks this is crazy this hd lace like i've seen and worked with hd lace but this is highly high high definition like i can't even express the 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 beautifulness of this lace like to see it and to try it is to believe it but here now i'm just parting out the section for my little bun where it's going to be my half up half down and you can just watch from here because it's real simple you know i'd like to make you guys watch me do everything step by step so you can do it perfectly After I done molded this ponytail up, I deliberately told myself a hundred times, do not mold it without parting out my two little sections that I want to have in the front. And I still did it anyway, forgetting. So you want to part out two nicely, not too thin, not too thick pieces in the front. These are going to be your little, your little leave outs. I'm going to call them my little leave outs. These are going to be your little cute little leave outs. And I went ahead. You can make them thick if you want. You can make them really thin if you want, but this is how I parted it to get the look that I got today. You know, looking back at this video now and I'm watching, it actually is easier to mold everything up and then go ahead and part your two little pieces out. Because I just feel like if you try to put a half, you know, try to do a ponytail and hot comb everything up the way how you saw me do it with two pieces out, it would probably be a little more harder as for smoothing out everything and then going ahead and parting out your two pieces it's easier if you if you understand what i'm saying so you could just follow the way that i did
So in the best way explained, you want to get a stretchy rubber band. And as you're putting your hair in a ponytail, you want to push and press the base area down so that it won't be, you know, humped up. And this will make sure that your ponytail is flat. And then you want to go ahead and split it in two and lightly pull it. And how I got my bun on the first try, I began to twist the ponytail, like the hair, and then I like twist it around and then split it and actually rope twist it. And then I just wrapped it around in circles as you see here and this is what got me the like the perfect bun in my opinion like the perfect messy but not too messy bun in the first try So we're going for a natural look today. No baby hairs. Shout outs to my client. That I said my client. <laughs> I mean, shout outs to my subscriber that told me, you know, no baby hairs. You just you just showed me something. I'm I'm gonna start doing some installs without baby hairs. I'm gonna do a better video another time. So I just went ahead and sprayed my freeze blast spray and just brushed everything back almost like I was gonna do baby hairs, but just gave it more of like a sweep back look. So you can follow exactly what I did there. Then I went over it and sprayed the edges again with the freeze blast spray. Just to, I mean just to to make sure that everything stays in place and the way how i like it for this part right here you want to be very careful very very careful i recently burnt the crap out of my face you're gonna see in my following video i oh my god i burnt the crap out of my face with the hot comb it gets really 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 hot please be careful don't burn yourself don't burn your clients don't burn anyone so now i'm just going in and i'm defining my edges with my hot comb you guys know how i do this part by now if you are new there are ample videos below with me you know showing you guys my hot comb tricks and then i'm gonna go in with some bio silk hair oil the best hair silkening cream oil ever i didn't say that right it's not cream it's oil it's just oil it's the best hair oil ever to get your hair lightweight and silky without having to do too much and you only need a dime size and then i went ahead and i flat ironed it So I didn't flat iron my hair row by row. I just, cause the hair was so soft, I didn't even really need to do all of that and it came straight already. So what I did was just part off some sections and go ahead and just flat iron it really quickly. And it was very easy to do so. It didn't give me any hard time. It didn't have any foul smells. Shout outs to Dula here one more time for the one time. And I went ahead and I flat ironed my little leave out pieces. And then y'all gonna see the finish, 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 finish look. So, the hair, all right, first things first, shedding. I don't know what they do doing when they make it these wigs, but the shedding will literally be like four strands to no strands. Like, it's barely any shredding, shedding. It's barely any shedding. No matting in the back, none of that. It, it The flat ironing game is, as you can see, it's silky. It comes out perfect. You know, I did a little, I, just, I kept it simple today. Kept it calm with the baby hairs. I just brushed everything back. Because I did see one of you guys' comments. I don't remember who you are. But please drop your comment again below. Thanks to you. I didn't do no baby hairs today. So, you know, I have this little... A calm look today. I was going for like a calm little... Little ladies that do this. And pictures and they be like this. And their hands be in this. That's what I was going for today. I wanted to be like... It's a geisha, y'all. I googled it. It's a geisha. 
<laughs> that's the name that I was trying to find the whole entire time. It is a geisha. But yes, here is the final finishing look. Look at that. Boom. Yes, that's the final look. I'm a bird. I'm done with myself. I'm going to get my hands done and my nails done. I'll be feeling like a bird. Period. Let me relax. But here is the final look. Yes, once again, shout outs to Doula Hair. Um, if you love this video, please leave a comment below. Like, comment again, subscribe, share. The information will be in the description box on the little in description box on how to get this hair. And I will see you guys soon with more videos. And don't you leave this video without hitting that notification bell either. Yeah, I'm watching you.